thank you to Vandergraaff for sponsoring this Road to Prosperity video. Visit their website to learn about new innovative conveyor drive technology, delivering reliability and longevity for belt conveyors. He says, considering the trade deficit we have with other countries and the upcoming forecasted recession, how can the newly anticipated Republican Congress support made in America and buy in America efforts? And what is your message to American companies that do not support other American companies? Well, I think they're two different and very good questions tied together. Uh, let me say, first of all, there are clearly billionaires who put profit ahead of patriotism. And I think we need to call them out. We need to be direct about it. Uh, we need to change the Security and Exchange Council rule, committee rules. But the, uh, <clears throat> the um, I'm coming, sorry, Security and Exchange Commission rules. Uh, for example, there are Chinese firms that are listed that do not meet the American standard and are not required to meet the American standard, although they're listed with American companies. So they're getting investments that are subpar and at risk. Uh, Roger Robinson has done brilliant work on this. He was in the Reagan White House working on how to uh, undermine and destabilize Gorbachev and is, really understands this stuff. So one, <clears throat> we have to focus on creating a playing field in which the Chinese can't cheat. Two, I can't for the life of me understand why Biden would have dropped the tariffs on Chinese uh, solar equipment this week, uh, because what it does is it gives them a real shot at, de at destroying the American industry when we should be going in the opposite direction. I and mean, one of the lessons of this entire COVID experience ought to be in dealing with the Chinese dictatorship, you don't want the Chinese to have control of an entire industry because you don't wanna be reliant on them in, in a crisis. Uh, and so I think we have to go back and look carefully at what, what will it take to grow and sustain American industrial base <clears throat> and make sure that as we were getting to under Trump with, with energy, where we really were truly oil and gas independent. We we're the largest producer in the world. We we're actually beginning to export. Uh, we could easily have competed with Russia with liquefied natural gas as opposed to their pipeline. Uh, and that was the right direction. We are, we're now beginning to insource chip manufacturing. It'll take three more years. Uh, but when you realize that I think 70% of the world's chips are made in Taiwan, uh, that's a level of vulnerability that uh, we should never accept in terms of national security. So I do think there are steps that a new Congress will take to begin moving us back towards a focus on American manufacturing and on uh, enriching the American economy. Thank you to Vandergraaff for sponsoring this Road to Prosperity video. Visit their website to learn about new innovative conveyor drive technology, delivering reliability and longevity for belt conveyors.